Every farmer knows that earthworms are good for the soil. They aerate it, they fertilize it. Nobody, you're in my hands. Okay, see? In India, Dr. Sunit Dabki has big plans for the humble earthworms he's been studying for the past dozen years. He says they can do a lot more for the earth than just fertilize it. These worms are going to do some magic for us. They are going to take the soil or the waste into their body and going to excrete out the good nutrients to the soil. Dr. Dabki says worms can remove toxic waste from contaminated soil just by doing what comes naturally. Bad stuff in, good stuff out. And there's a lot of badly polluted land here in the western Indian state of Gujarat, which is one of India's fastest growing economies. Mutia, on the outskirts of one of Gujarat's industrial capitalists, Ahmedabad, used to be a farmer's village. But when textile and pharmaceutical plants sprang up outside of town and dumped toxic waste onto the land, most farmers lost their crops. He says the plants were getting burned by the pollution before they could even grow, and the soil wasn't good either. He says they often saw colours from the textile dyes on the plants. Public health physician Dr Rajesh Mehta studied the village to see the effects of heavy metal pollution on its residents. Basically, a uh, respiratory problem that is cough and cold, asthma, chest pain because of cardiovascular problems also, and also skin problems. In 1996, after decades of dumping, laws were passed forcing companies to transfer their waste to secure toxic dumps. More than 30,000 tonnes of sludge was removed, but dangerous non-biodegradable heavy metals remained, leached deep into the soil. Eleven years later, the water from this well still runs yellow, contaminated with toxic chromium. The town has to pump clean water in from a treatment plant five kilometres away. In 2006, Dubke received a $15,000 grant from an international NGO, the Blacksmith Group, to cover the cost of removing four acres of waste using earthworms. Initially, about 300,000 worms were released. A year later, soil tests showed a 60% reduction of heavy metals. An additional 100,000 worms were added later, along with natural soil conditioners to help absorb the remaining waste. We are condensing, so we are reducing the volume of toxic waste from such a huge amount to such a small amount. Good news for the farmers, but bad news for the worms. They're sifted out of the earth and burned after their work is done. The heavy metals they've absorbed are released into the air, where Dr. Dabke says they do less harm than in the soil. But for the next two years, these worms will live a worm's version of the good life, happily munching their way through the soil, helping India digest its toxic waste. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Hong Kong.